iOS is bringing a feature that's been on Android like forever and it is T9 dialing. If you don't know what T9 dialing means, then you didn't send SMS or saved contact number with this type of phone. T9 dialing allows you to find the name of a contact straight from your dialer without going into contact. It's now on iPhone thanks to iOS 18. Most iPhone users will still say that Apple will always refine a feature when they bring it even though it's been on Android for years. How does this one turn out? If you're ready, let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. I'm so excited to have you on this one. So when Android started, Android had some phone that were this design. So Android easily added T9 dialing from the dialer. So what it means is that you can actually find a name by just typing the corresponding name with the number and you get at pulled out from the dialer instead of you going to the contact which makes life easy it took iphone 20 over 20 years to get to put that in and um let's see how good they did that let's start by calling victor stabilizer fixer from my contacts i'll start by dialing the corresponding numbers that contains the letters v i c the iPhone detected Victor, but Android didn't because the three numbers 842 also represent VIC and UGB. iPhone is simpler here, but Android in this case is more intelligent. Adding additional number 8, Android switches from UGB to VICT, uh, predicting that I want to call a Victor. Notice that the iPhone prefers numbers first <laughs> before names in the search result, which is weird. I mean, we are searching for contact names. Of course, Android prefers names first and also picks out some unsaved numbers from the call history. The iPhone also summarized the Victor names and ended up removing the particular Victor I wanted to call. I still have to do extra act, you know, by clicking on see all <laughs> before I can now, you know, see the particular Victor I want to. But Android pulls all of them out and allow you to scroll if you still want to go beyond the screen reach. Let's consider another combination of the same contact name using Fixer. This time, Android truly left <laughs> iPhone behind. Type in 349, which represents fix. Android pulled out the two names that has fixer on it. While iPhone defaulted to numbers and the keypad was covering the names that had fix or fixer on them. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is stressful. So when you start T-dialing on iPhone, it's, it brings out the number first, which is the first priority, then before the names. But it should be the name because it is the name that you save that you can also easily remember. So for that, I still think that Android implemented it way more than <laughs> the iPhone or iOS. But at least, thankfully, people who are using I iPhone right now are beginning to enjoy some of the things that Android users have been using all this while. So yeah, then the second one for me also means that you are still not able to do speed dialing on this. Now, let me show you what I mean. So this is an iPhone that has uh, T9 dialing, but if I press and hold down a number, it's not showing me any person assigned to it. It's actually trying to search the person that, you know, the name started with any of the letters here. This is the Android dialer. So if I press and hold down a number, it will tell me that no number have been assigned here yet. So you can assign a number and you just press and hold down the number and it will dial the person. So in terms of dialer, Android is still way, way, way superior than iPhone. So iPhone, welcome to the year 2000. Hopefully they're going to add speed dialing not just T9 dialing to you. So let me know from you in the comment section, do you think iPhone is better in terms of this dialing feature or call feature uh, than Android? Make sure you like, share, subscribe because I'm going to also, you know, review some other new features that was added to iOS 18 for iPhones. Of course, I may not talk about this, but yeah, after 20 years, the iPad finally got a calculator. Can you believe that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, come on. I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah, maybe subscribe. <laughs> like you may not know. I may do a video about that. Until I see you in the next one, it is peace.